Hi, this is Joshua with Greater Than Gatsby. Today we're going to be working with the Clean Essentials Collection and I'm going to be working on a bright clean edit for you guys. Um, as you can see from this photo, I had to underexpose it a little bit in camera. The background was just so bright. I wanted to make sure that I captured all that detail. So today we're going to be working on evening this out a little bit. So let's start with the classic Clean Bright Foundation. All right, now that that's run, uh, you can see that it's way too bright, so we are going to back this foundation off quite a bit, uh, probably right around 50% opacity. So I think this is a really good start for where we're going, but I'm um, going to show you a few of these basic tone enhancers. Let's go ahead and run just a couple of these to see if they work. No, that one's too bright. Okay, I like what Golden Glow is doing, but we're going to bring that way down, closer to 40%. Let's try one more at Faded Frost. Again, I like what it's doing, but that's way too intense. Alright, so we're going to bring it down at 30% opacity. So, scrolling down in here, um, okay, so next we're going to go to a finishing vignette, and this is really going to help kind of even it out and give that warmth we're looking that's a little hazy. So we're going to play Sheer Warm. And right away you can see that really evened it out. I'm actually going to bring the opacity up just a little bit just to see if we can get some of those darker areas to disappear. So I'm going to bring it to 45%. And I'm going to grab my mask with the black brush selected so we can brush some off at 100% opacity. And I'm going to take it totally off of her eyes, because I don't want those to be hazy at all. And then I'm going to drop the opacity of my brush down 33%, make it a little bit bigger, and then partially take it off of her face. Alright, there we go. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and flatten. and then come down here into these final adjustments. We're going to play a couple of these, so I'm just going to hit the play them all option. All right, so what I want to do is play one of these color blends. So let's start with the HDR. I like what that did. It brought a lot of that contrast back. I don't know if that kept it washed out. Okay, so let's go with the HDR and bring the opacity down just a little bit. So we'll say 65%. And it's a little too bright right now, so mid-tones, we're gonna deepen those. And drop the opacity just a hair. All right, I really like where we're at, but it needs just a little bit more. So I'm gonna play Smooth It Out, and this is it is a smoother, but it's different from one that you would typically find in a retouch set because this is much more mild and it's just designed to kind of even things out at the very end of an edit. So I'm going to go in here. Sometimes you get a little banding. Here's your opacity. Um, I'm playing a few things, so it's just a nice touch up to come in here at the end and clean that up just a little. Alright, so I'm also going to play another one. Um, I'm going to crisp the details. And I'm going to have this just go over her eyes. I want those as sharp as we can get them. And then I'm going to play the fill flash brush and Typically you can use this for big uh, areas, but I'm actually going to do with at 25% opacity, I'm going to come through here and just pop some highlights. So I'll come in 
here, under the eyes just a little bit, and then right to there, and just a little bit up here. Okay, so that is a little too much. I'll probably back it off here in a minute, but I want to do this a few other places too. So we're going to come here around her hands and lighten those up a little bit. I'm going to make it bigger and there's kind of this dark spot in the sleeve. I'm going to lighten that up. Um, like I said, on her face, it's a little too much. You can see me going on and off. So let's just bring the opacity down. And let's see what Skin Tone Fresh does. Make this big and just one. Come down here and play it on her arms and then warm the skin. This one you kind of have gray area right here because it's in a shadow. This is another good brush to come in and just bring some life back into the skin. I think we're done with the edit. Um, this is pretty close to uh, how I would edit it, you know, to hand to a client. I might take a little bit more time on dodging and burning, but for instructive purposes, I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through it and show you how I do it. So um, this is the after. We'll go back to the before. That's where we started. And the after. So you can see that's a, a pretty big difference. Um, I might make it just a hair darker with the mid-tone action we played earlier. There we go. Okay, so the after and the before, the after and the before, and the after. So this is how I would do a clean, bright edit. Um, if you want this clean essential set, go to www.greaterthangatsby.com to purchase it and check back for more videos. Thanks.